Hi guys, welcome to this review about the Sakura solid marker. It is a great marker. I have already made another one or two reviews about this marker, uh, but I think it's really worth to do an update after so long time and tell you about my experience so that you know if it's really a good thing to buy or not. So you see it's pretty cheap and it lasts really long. It's a big marker. If you don't use it every 10 minutes it will probably last for almost lifetime to write here and there to some things. Um, and it's it's really cheap. It's four dollar fifty with Prime, so it's extremely cheap, and it <coughs> works. Sorry, works from minus forty degrees Fahrenheit to two hundred twelve degrees Fahrenheit. That's really awesome. Um, yeah. I wanted to show you about uh, actually about the good things, but I start with the negative things which I have been experienced here. You see the top of the, uh, I mean the inside of the marker. What they don't show uh, that there is inside the cap here. Here we have the cap. There's another cap inside this cap, and it sticks to the top of the stick like here you have the head which you uh, yeah this is actually too bright and this cap the in in inside of the cap always sticks on the head of the pen so you have to remove it by hand and it the uh, top not always looks like this it tends to crumble a little bit i mean not too much but it's something like a, a dry uh thing it um, doesn't look after some time it doesn't look so shiny as here maybe here down here you see a small thing small thing crumble off uh, after time there will be more of these things so you have to be careful when you use it that you uh, not um, that not the, some small parts fall to the bottom and you step on it and it will then uh, mess your carpet or something like this you have to be a little bit careful but if you watch this it shouldn't be a big problem that's the only thing negative thing which i have found so far apart from that i have it now used since about nine months and it's still absolutely the same quality when i write now it's the same as when i wrote nine months ago so there's no drying that's really surprising because it dries quick really quick uh, when you write on something it uh, it dries within uh, i think it was six or seven minutes it's it, it's written on the on the pen how fast it is so something between five and ten minutes and then it's really waterproof and uh, everything so it it dries really quick so it's really surprised that it doesn't dry out more so the, here we have the results this is the reason why I did the videos actually at the moment and here we have a part of my uh, swimming pool that's the skimmer part of course uh, yeah, it's not in the best condition, but um, is, it is how I bought it from the previous owner. Maybe at some point I will have to do an update here. But the thing is, what I wanted to show you is this um, thing. Like uh, it's a it's a marker which I have actually put on to show the level of water which is recommended uh, like the the minimum water level which is recommended for this pool so that the pool pump doesn't run dry and so i took this opportunity when it was a little bit below to make a picture so you can see it 
more clear so i have a, also a close up here you see the water level here it's below but usually a water level is here you here you see some remainders of the water so uh, 99 percent of the time the water is covering this marker and as you know the pools they have a lot of chemicals in it especially uh, chlorine it needs a lot of chlorine especially here in florida when water temperatures are high we have to put a lot of chlorine in it and so it's uh, actually the whole year round in chlorinated water and there is absolutely no fading you, you see there is no no washing out no nothing it's absolutely i mean the picture is a little bit bad it had a little bit problems with with the white balance made everything blue so i had to correct the white balance a little bit but i can't really tell you this is absolutely black outside it's the same black as on the it was on the first day when i applied this marker so if you want to ha uh, put something a marker into water even if it's chlorinated water is absolutely no problem it will stick there almost forever i really uh i'm happy with that because it helps me to uh, indicate when i have to refill the pool this is absolutely great here on the side so i have also another experiment you know maybe uh, from my other video i have been trying to apply markers to my hockey pucks so i when i take it to um, skate and shoot so i take my own pucks home and not other ones so here you see i have tried this uh, for the skate and shoot last week i put it on but you see there were some uh, yeah um, the white is not sticking everywhere it came off at maybe 10 or 20 percent of the surface where i put it on you see it also on the side um yeah at some points which are a little bit protected inside the white is still sticking the marker is still sticking but not everywhere so probably um yeah two or three more skating shoots uh, and it will be almost completely gone but uh, this was a skating shoot for about one and a half hour i was using it really a lot so uh, it will definitely last for one or two skating shoot sessions but not more but i have not really no idea what i should use I will still try to find something better but it will be really tough because this marker is really really good it sticks on almost everything on metal on glass on um, yeah a lot of surfaces where you have really really problem and if you uh, if it doesn't work the first time just keep uh, writing like when, when you try it first time sometimes there is not enough white sticking on the surface so go a second time and the same uh, spot or even a third time and then it will look much much better it helped me at some time uh, sometimes uh, when it didn't work especially on glass on glass sometimes it needs m uh, more than one time uh, writing so yeah i hope that helps you a little bit and if you have any questions like always write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about the things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time